Hello and welcome to my D1 revision videos. Today we're going to be talking about the Chinese Postman algorithm. It's worth noting it's also sometimes called the Root Inspector um, algorithm. So if it says that in the exam, don't be throwing. It is actually the same thing as the Chinese Postman. Now this algorithm is to find a way to go across every single arc in a graph and back to where you started in the least possible weight. The way to remember this is through the name Chinese Postman. If you think about it, a postman will have to go down every single street to deliver letters to all the houses, and you want to do it in the shortest time. He doesn't want to be out there for an extra hour if he doesn't have to be. And that's why this algorithm was invented. It was to find the shortest way of getting across every single arc and back to where you started. So to do this you need to find all nodes of odd order. That just means all the nodes that have an odd number of arcs going into them. So for example one, two, three, this would have an order of three. This one has an order of four, so this has an odd order. And this has an even order. We're looking for all the ones that have odd order. You then have to put all of the combinations of pairs of these nodes. So say you had four nodes, one combination would be A and B plus C and D. Another would be A and C plus B and D and so on. And you want to find all the possible combinations of pairing your odd order nodes together. You then want to select whichever combination will have the least weight arcs joining the nodes and the pairs. So maybe A to B was 3 and C to D was 4, so it would equal 7. Maybe A to C was 10 and B to D was 2 and it would equal 12. In this case, this one would be the one you would pick, because the weight of the arcs joining the pairs, the nodes in your pairs, is the least. You then need to duplicate these arcs so we just got the weights of and for the one you selected in your original graph find a Eulerian trail that just means going around across every arc without sort of lifting, lifting your pen off the paper of course you want to start at one point and you'll finish there as well as you go around and that should done so it does sound a bit complicated it's probably the most unusual algorithm it's not really like any of the others but again, the easiest way to understand it is to do an example. So that's what we're going to do. So here you see I've drawn out a graph. First step is to find all nodes of odd order. So let's see, this has three, so it's odd order. Two arcs. And then this one is also three, so it's odd. And this one is three, so it's odd. One, two, three, four, five, it's odd. Four, it's even. 4 it's even, 2 and 2. So the odd order are M um, nodes here are A, G, F and I. So now we need to find all combinations of pairs of these nodes. So we would have A can be with either G or it can be with F or it can be with I. And if it was with G, that would leave F and I together. If it was with F, leave G and I together. And if it was with I, it would leave F and G together. And these are the combinations that we have. So now, the third step is to find the combination with the least weight arcs joining the nodes. So we need to find the arcs joining our pairs and see what their weight is. So A to G, the shortest path to get this way would be the 6 and the 2, which will give us 8. And then F to I, these are directly connected by an arc of weight 3. So this will add up to get us a total weight of 11. Then this pair, we've got A to F. The shortest way to get from A to F is 8, this 5 and this 3. G to I, they're directly connected, and it's a weight of 4. So they add to get us 12. 
the final pairing e to i they're directly connected by 5 and f to g are directly connected by 7 so that would add up to give us 12 we want to select the one with the lowest total weight so that's this 11 so we're picking a and g plus f and i we then need to duplicate these arcs in the original graph so that means a to j of 8 was this 6 and this 2 so we're going to draw on another one of weight 2 and another one of weight 6 f to i were directly connected by a 3 so we're going to draw another one on 3 now you might be wondering what's the point of doing this if we now look at the orders 1, 2, 3, 4 that's now even 1, 2, 3, 4 so is that again so is this and again so is this so we have made the graph have all nodes of an even order which means we can find a Eulerian trail a trail that goes round over every arc and finishes where it starts that's no problem we can do that now so to get that we would just add up the total of all these arcs including our duplicates whatever that adds up to that would be the length of our root as for the root itself you would just have to state it as it was so say it started a you could do a b c d e b i a h g i e f i've forgotten where i'm up to but um the whole point is that once you have them all of even order you can find a route starting at whatever arc you need to whatever node you need to and going across every single arc and finishing where you started so that is how you solve this problem any time it says anything about going across every arc chinese postman route inspector it's this algorithm that you do again i would recommend that you just take a print screen of this page as it is now and remember this process because decision one is really a test of how well you can remember these algorithms more than anything so it's literally just sitting down and learning the process and practicing it and that's all you can really do so again if you have any uh, questions about the chinese postman algorithm anything i haven't been very clear on leave them in the comments and i'll try and answer them as best as i can and thank you for listening. I'll see you next time.